the Senate Appropriations uh, Committee. I'm gonna get this scripture again. Uh, Isaiah 13 and nine, behold, the day the Lord cometh cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. That's, that's right. two thirds, two thirds right. of Israel. That's, that's right. the sinners, they gonna be destroyed. All these adulterous women, they gonna be destroyed, all these faggots, all these, there's gonna be a lot of- uh, A lot of death. A lot and of that's death. not even speaking. What, man, who gives a fuck about the who the law is not given to those? The, that's the what I'm other saying. That's the sinners. He, we tell, that's just talking about Israel. Yep. Wicked Israel. ass Israel, which that's a great number. Big <laughs> Shit. Number. That's right. a great. I mean, this is a big fucking country, man. Yeah. There's uh, what's how many Americans here? Uh, three over three hundred million. Three hundred million. They don't right. know though. They don't really know. Right. It's probably like four hundred yeah, something. Yeah. Probably million. is. Right. Right. This is like they don't they don't really know how many people's in the world. You can't count all those. People. You can't count them. Right. Hell right. No. He saw attempts to. Yeah. He, he. That's why he want to track everybody. Give yeah. everybody because he wants to track your like ass. Some surveys that go around. I'll that shit out, man. Hell no. I'll feel that shit out, man. If they do, I always lie about everything. Yep. I give them false information. <laughs> is that camera still going? Yeah. Right, let me get a scripture. Uh, <laughs> Behold, the day the Lord cometh cruel, both with, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate. He shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. Also, how are you going to get your astrology reading when you can't see the stars? You know right. It's going to be dark. <laughs> it's going to be dark. No light. The it is, man. It's going to be dark, man. That's like the dark that hit Egypt when they, they talk. About, you know how they couldn't see shit. You light a match in front of you, you can't even see that match, man. That's a door. That's hey. a door. Oh, that's a, the Exodus is. That's that outer space dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It consume everything. Yep. Yeah. Wow. For the stars of heaven and the constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened and it's going forth. Oh, you mean that scripture when the Lord was going to fall? Uh, he said that. Uh, Why everything dark? It got, got dark for like three yeah. hours. Oh, yeah. Like three, four hours, something like that. There was earthquakes. Yep. And yep. it said that the, the earthquakes came right the after the graves opened up and the spirits were coming out. Did more fucking coming out the graves? It's like the zombie shit. And up. they said they was walking around. Yeah. That, that's they, the, they was walking around. They went to their old homes and oh, shit. That's wow, like that the most bugged out part of the whole Bible. Ain't that crazy, man? That's like one of that's like one of the craziest scriptures in the whole Bible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's like when you read that, you don't really we don't really hit on that too much. Zombie, zombies coming. out. It was crazy. It's like they was coming out the graves. Wow. Yep, and that's when the motherfuckers was like, oh, he was true. But well, that's why everybody knows the Bible is the truth, because everybody's saying the Romans witnessed it, the uh, Esau, all, all these different nations in Jerusalem, they all seen the Lord die on that cross, and they seen the earthquakes. Nobody's seen him, though. We don't know what color he is. There's a reason why. Right, that bullshit. Yeah, but there's a reason why we live in the year uh, what, 2014 now, AD, Anno Domini, the year of our Lord. You know what I'm saying? The time itself is based on the Bible because it's a fact that it's true. You can't get around it. It's not even a doubt. But when you speak in history wise, there's more proof to the one you call Jesus Christ lived than anybody else that ever lived. Yeah. There's there's more records of him. They try to say there's no records of him. You people are insane. There's more writings about him than anybody. You people are fucking insane. What it? Oh yeah, they'll say you can't use the Bible. That's not a record. That's just a fairy I mean, tale book. We talking about so if you was gonna if we're gonna write a history book, if you're gonna write a history book about America, would you not use America's records? <laughs> so what so so the Lord was an Israelite, so who wrote his records and recorded that history? Right. Israel. Israelites. Israelites. So it's gonna be the Israelites that recorded that history. It was like the Israelites wrote the book of Chronicles because they was chronicling their history. It, it, they didn't have the Persians come over and write the Israelites' history. So people try to say, well, all you got is the Bible. Well, it's the, the Israelites' uh, fucking history book, you jackasses. People are retarded, man. Hey, stupid as hell. Let me read this. Uh, Isaiah 13, 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. Man, that haughtiness. That haughtiness is just some funny yeah, everybody shit. Everybody talking shit. Yeah, that haughtiness. Pointing in their mouth, thinking they are proud. They all proud. They got that pride of life. Uh-huh. They all, they, they're pride of, they take pride in their flesh. Like everybody think they the shit, you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Everybody think they somebody, they ain't shit. They ain't shit. I got the Isaiah 33. Oh, go ahead. Too. 
Um, this is Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Yeah, the fear of the Lord is a treasure. And the Bible's gold and riches. You know what I'm saying? Man, man. That's that treasure. This is crazy. Let me keep going with this. This is fucking crazy. And this is a point I really wanted to get to earlier. Uh, Isaiah 13 and 12. And I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Not a woman. Even a man than the gold, uh, golden wedge of Ophir. So the scripture said compared men to gold, not the woman. Because when all hell breaks loose, like right now, the woman is looking real weak in this weather. Like a woman can help. This, like this weather don't really faze me. I'm kind of cold and shit. But put me next to a bitch. And Say I was out here with my, I had a girlfriend out here with me, I was kicking it, and she's like, it's so cold, baby, I gotta go get warm, you know what I mean? You always, the bitch go in the house, she gotta turn the heat on to 80 degrees. Turn this shit up, too. Yeah, you know, just, just all, all the way up. The woman's fragile. She's all soft and weak, and well, that's how she's supposed to be. Yeah, we can deal with it, though, more mentally. Yeah. It's how the Lord made men and women. He but they make try, us equal. But they try to, yeah, right. yeah, in America, they say men and, men and women are equal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, right. If men and women are equal, then how come they ain't got women playing halfback in the NFL of being a linebacker? Blocking for you be your yeah. blocker. Going to be your blocker, you going to play center? <laughs> hey, some of these fat bitches probably could be a center. <laughs> <laughs> they just, yeah. all they got to do is put the fat bitch there. You can run. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she get still getting destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> literally, because the fat bitch, man, they, they walk and they tired. They beat. wobble, they gotta wobble. They can't walk, they gotta yep. wobble. They like, had to get hip replacements every season. Yep. Yeah, they wobble, yeah. She's a gold girlfriend of mine, man. She got, she's about to have her uh, sixth or seventh surgery on her ankle. Nah, damn it. <laughs> her feet and ankles, man. Ankle came and supported yeah, bit. Cause she picked up so much weight, man. She can't, yeah. she can't her, her, her feet giving out on her, man. And I keep trying to tell him, but you gotta lose weight, man. You gotta lose weight. Her feet are literally falling in, man. <laughs> you know? And she getting paid, too. Oh, shit. Yeah, and all these bitches always getting paid. All these, all these fat bitches got the best jobs of the fat bitch. Yeah, How the hell do you fat assholes get all these good jobs, man? That's that it. shit is amazing. The Lord has created a new thing. The woman shows some half of man. But that's why this scripture right here says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Even a man in a golden wedge of open. Golden wedge of open. Let me go. Isaiah 13 and 13. Therefore I will shake the heavens and the earth. Excuse me. Therefore I will shake the heavens. What was it? Golden wedge of open. Go ahead, man. Oh, yeah. That's a, a place where they mine the gold, I think. I believe. Mm -hmm. I looked that up before. I looked it up too. I just forgot. It's been a it's minute. been so long, right? You don't look so much stuff up over time. Shit. Like I said, we done forgot more shit than these pastors and all these churches combined ever knew. I watched some of our old videos. My old self be teaching me stuff. <laughs> yeah. You know right, what I'm right. saying? Yeah, I watched yeah, the old yeah, me yeah. for like a year. I'm like, damn, I didn't know that. Oh, old me. That's so funny, but that's true though. You can yeah, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, true. We be reading scriptures like, what scriptures? I didn't. I didn't know that. Yeah. All right, bring break a definition. I'm like, damn, I didn't realize I knew that. Hey, Lord's <laughs> wisdom, man. Hey, when you're dealing with truth and righteousness, remember, when you're dealing with nothing but wisdom, man, it's going to just, it's flowing like the scripture said, yeah. like living water, man. Yeah. That water, man, you can put some of that water just dome in this dome, man. You don't, you don't, you don't know. Yeah, it's just moving. Yeah, you don't water know what it was, man, right unless it comes back yeah. up again. <laughs> let the spirit bring it back around again, you know? And hey, let me get this, this is that fire scripture right here. Therefore, I will shake the heavens and the earth shall move out of her place in the wrath of the Lord of hosts in the day of his fierce anger. So the earth is gonna move out of its place. The earth, oh, okay, I know what you're getting too. All right, I wanna keep going, I know what you get. And it shall be as the chase roll and as the sheep that no man <coughs> take it up. They shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. This is the point I really wanted to get right here. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled, and their wives ravished. <laughs> raped, raped. <laughs> Snatched the fuck up and raped. So that's what happens in the time of war though. Yeah, women Ravish. get raped. I mean, that's just part of war. I mean, that's a manly thing, though. You know what I'm saying? That's right. There's nothing wrong with raping a bitch. I mean, you're not supposed to rape a married woman, obviously. You know what I'm saying? You 
can't just be right to anybody. Yeah, somebody's yeah, wife. Yeah, you ain't wife. supposed to do that. Right. That's evil. That's not, that's but you know, that's, that's going to happen, though. Oh, oh, yeah. We're going to kill Esau's wife. I mean, kill Esau and take his wife. Well, two thirds going to do a lot of that, though. Because you know what? Personally, I can't deal with a woman, especially if I did just kill her husband. You just want to kill both of them. Because he recently dealt with her anyway. His right. DNA still in that bitch. I remember watching, you ever see that King? I'm some young bitch. You ever watch that King Arthur movie? Uh, the new one? Uh, nah, the when new they one said King not. Arthur was a Scythian or whatever? Uh -uh, said, uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. You didn't see that? Uh -uh. But there's this one, there's this one part. Right. Yeah, there was one part in the King Arthur movie when the Saxon kings came up and they were slaughtering the villages. Right. And one of the dudes went to rape the women, and he's like, "We don't, we don't breed with their kind." <laughs> <laughs> he said he wouldn't let them rape the women because he called them heathens. <laughs> he, did, he said he didn't want them breeding with heathens. Right, 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 right. That one is like. <laughs> I'm just saying that's just some funny shit, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna see it though, cause I don't know why that sounds it's all right, so familiar. It's, it's okay. It's kind of it's okay. That sounds familiar. You see that one movie I told you, Dollar? Um, Bike Kingdom. What was it? Bike Kingdom. I still haven't seen it. Yeah, I got it's it. all right though. I mean, it's, it's a Viking movie. It's just a movie to watch though. You would like it cause it's silly. I like all that. Is it a Viking movie? Yeah. Oh, I like all that. It's Viking a little bit shit. of science fiction added to it. Oh, I gotta see it. Yeah, they got Thor. Oh, for real? Yeah, Thor a bad guy though. What? Yeah. <laughs> well, he is a bad guy though. Actually, because yeah, yeah, yeah. Thor's bad. Yeah, yeah. You're Thor's right. bad. That's right. a storm god. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He is the bad guy. <laughs> that's, that is good. It's on point then. Yeah, Loki was actually the good guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a decent movie though, because they showing the weakness of a woman in the movie. And they just got a hero through by uh, hero pitching. I hate that hero. I, oh, they did that in that King shit. Arthur movie. In the end of that King Arthur movie, they had uh, Guinevere fighting in a battle. I hate that shit. Yeah, she was like slaughtering fools too. Oh, wow. That one movie that got it right was that Robin Hood movie with uh, Russell Crowe. Yes. The yes, woman yes. tried to fight in that movie. As soon as she started fighting, she got fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here you go. Um, this is Wisdom of Solomon, the part for 16 and 16 for the ungodly that denied to know thee, were scourged by the strength of thy arm, with strange rains, hails, and showers, were they persecuted, that they could not avoid, and through fire were they consumed. For which is most to be wondered at, the fire had more force in the water that quenches all things, for the world fighteth for the righteous. For sometime the flames, was mig was mitigated that it might not burn <clears throat> up the beasts that were sent against the ungodly, but themselves might see and perceive that they were persecuted with the judgment of the Most High. And at another time it burneth, even in the midst of water above the power of fire, that it might destroy the fruits of an unjust land. Yeah, America's an unjust land. Yeah, you read that right. article earlier. It said that the world voted America is the most dangerous place on earth. Well, what they said, um, the number one threat to peace. Number one, that's right. That's so right. The threat to world peace. Which that's obvious, though. And but America, they claim to be liberating all the other countries. Right. Yeah. Well, if you call, if you yeah, if you call, uh, uh, what well, an assisted suicide uh, uh, liberation. You know, you know, you know, like uh, what's that doctor Jack Kevorkian? He was liberating people too. <laughs> go there and destroy people economies yeah, go and shit, rape them. That's, that's liber You didn't know that when when, when I uh, when I whack kill you and your whole family. That's lib That's you get liberated, man. We, we save you from the pains of this world. We'll just kill you. <laughs> that's liberation. You didn't know that. <laughs> it's down with something else. Right, that down like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this down with something else, man. With this kind, sweet, smooth words, boy. Come at you talking gently, looking smooth, smelling yeah, with the, with expensive colognes on. Come sit down next to you, talking to you like Shh, that's a motherfucker you should look at with a, with a shotgun hitting under your seat or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. a motherfucker walking up to me looking like a fucking bum and stinking and shit. I'm more well, more likely to drink a beer with that type of motherfucker. Yep. You know. But a nigga or some motherfucking devil walk up to you, man, with the suit on. Like them goddamn Mormons that came up Right, earlier. right, right. Yeah. Want a picture of Jesus? Want a picture of Jesus. But then say... Want a picture of Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> 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 what the fuck is this crazy? He actually said that too. That's gay as hell. <laughs> you want a picture of Jesus? Well, here, let me give you a picture of Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they say Baal sounds, Baal sounds like a 
soft spoken. Soft hey, spoken. The, lo the you know Lord of the, the community. Mm -hmm. Sounds real soft, like a fantasy sound. That's how about Brad Lurin sound. Oh, it's the terror. It is. And that's how these motherfucking demons are sound, man. That's the that's why I'm working through this motherfucker, man. Well, even even in the, all the movies and shit, but you see they depict Satan. He's always all beautiful. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, Esau comes through with that beautiful, that Satan spirit. Cause he's a more clean shaven than yeah. <laughs> you know, handsome, a handsome motherfucker. And where they get that out of the scriptures that that he's the most beautiful angel of all? Oh yeah, that's not even. In, oh, they did distortion of Ezekiel. What the fuck? <laughs> Scripture that was actually talking about the king of Tyree, they try to say that was Satan. And when you read the scripture, it says it's the king of Tyree. That's They're amazing. They're talking about man. the. Yeah, fucking so fucking weird. amazing, man. That just show you they just love they, the devil, man. They love Satan, man. Uh -huh. They do. They undercover. These Jews, are they don't hide it, though. Well, that's why they show you, too, like, uh, in the movies, Dracula was always all handsome, and he got all the women. He seduced all the women. He, yeah. and, the, and the vampires, they get all the women. They love sex. What movie is that? Uh, I Van, was, Van Helsing? You seen Van oh, Helsing? Oh, that's a good one. That's Van Helsing when movie. Dracula had them bad bitches. Yeah, them bad bitches. Hot bitches, yeah. too. Bad bitches, too. Look better than the bitches. That was a good guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bad bitches in that movie. Oh, my goodness, man. Do you see how they dress like women? That's a bad ass movie. Bitches dress, that is bad movie. These bitches just dress like ladies, man. What's Except the good guy bitch what's had tight ass tights on and Had your boy Wolverine yeah, in it. What's that, Wolverine? Uh, uh, Hugh Jackman. Jackman. Yeah, Hugh Jackman. Yeah. I used to hate that faggot, but he kind of grew on me. He's all right. <laughs> Man, I got this comic book I'm going to buy online, man. I'm going to download it to my phone. They got the Hulk fight with Wolverine, Wolverine, Hulk killed him, ripped him in half. Dang. Whoa. Ripped him in half. They probably make us a Wolverine because he got his, he got, he, can, he got healing powers. Yeah, because he woke up and was like, uh, ouch. <laughs> he uh, said, ouch. Why can't I feel my legs? <laughs> why can't I feel my legs? Hey. He, he lives, though. But I'm going to download it. It's only cost $4, so I'm going to download it to my phone. I'm gonna read the rest of this right here real quick. Yeah, let's wrap it up, man. Yeah. yeah. This is the frozen, this is the frozen chosen out here. Yeah, frozen but you know chosen. what? We got that vibration of the Lord out here like we were supposed to do. We ain't sit at home we're like it's too cold to go out there and push the word today. We got all simple asses out here. I'm always calling us simple asses. <laughs> we got a habit. Yeah, right. I got a habit. Man, that's that just what it is, though. Us, yeah, simple. We simple. The scripture said we fools for the Lord's sake. Oh, you just like, listen to Leonard Skinner, simple kind of man. Oh, yeah, we was listening right That's before I came shit. out here. I was listening that to Leonard Skinner. Shit. Oh, because y'all don't know that. See, a lot of y'all, because y'all yeah, got this cracker and y'all can't. You got goddamn heat on my. <laughs> but they, they hate it even more when I say Leonard Skinner was Israelite. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. it proudly. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey brother, I'm right there with I'll you, Leonard some, Skinner. I'll put some motherfucking Freebird on and turn that shit up to 10, son. Oh, shit. I, I'm, I'm, hey, I'm right there with you. Leonard Skinner are some niggas. <laughs> <laughs> they some dead niggas. Some dead niggas. <laughs> well, I say the government assassinated them. Y'all say Because they, they, they blew up. They got in a plane, and they, they said their plane ran out of gas. And then they crashed into a goddamn no, mountain. What, what fucking pilot is going to take off when you see the gas? With no gas. With a, with a quarter tank of gas. He must have been doing drugs yeah, with they Leonard Skinner. They probably put a hole in the gas tank or something. Mm, yeah. Yeah. They yeah. got assassinated. Half yeah. the, all these musicians, musicians that die. They probably just rigged the gas tank itself. Probably. Had it on full. Because we listen to Leonard Skinner, they's talking about the most high up in the song. Talking right, about right. You, the yeah, yeah. most high, the one up above. Right. They don't like that vibration going out in the music. Hell that no, rebel no. That's a rebellious music right there. You serious? They had oh, to they take got them that out. One, Leonard Skinner got this one song uh, called Give Me Back My Bullets. Yeah, I, said, probably I, I probably got it. I probably got it. Give Me Back My Bullets. Yeah. Man, they had to Leonard destroy Skinner. the music industry because music put a vibration out it there. It does. It's they spiritual. went through rock music and they went through rap like with Tupac and Biggie. You know? They had to destroy music, man, to get these faggot ass vibration out they here had, like this, man. That's why you ain't seen nobody like Jimi Hendrix since Jimi. No words, yep. No, no, no yep, way near that yep. level came out since. That's right, that's right. The okay. Church of Satan, I was watching an interview, they was like, all music and entertainment is satanic. It, it was put there for a reason. You had to destroy the music. Well, I told you, I actually, years ago, I read the satanic Bible. And Anton LaVey, he, he said that Satan makes the best music, which actually is not true, but... I've heard musicians say, I, have, I heard actual soul musicians say that they was yep. in that spirit, but it wasn't them playing. Jay-Z's on camera saying it. It was a it. demon. It was a yep. demon. Michael, oh, Michael Jackson said it. Michael Jackson was the main one. Yep. Yep. 
Michael, Michael Jackson. Dean. Michael oh, Jackson said, "Heal the world." He's like, "Heal the world yeah. just wrote itself." He was sitting in his Peter Pan he, tree. He was sitting in his wishing tree. Yeah. What a fucking weirdo. Yeah. Wishing tree. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is a tree I broke. Yeah, the yeah, boy is hey, there's so much truth in that, man. It's ridiculous, man. Oh, the evil. Truth is stranger. The actual real truth is some strange shit, man. I mean, it's, it's bizarre. It's a, but you were, once you get entered into the world of truth, you have now entered into the world of Michael Jackson. Twilight. <laughs> the Twilight. <Yeah. laughs> but the most I hit Michael Jackson with left yeah, right. Imagine that. They said he actually had a skin disease. The most popular yeah. Yeah. entertainer on earth yeah. in the front, in the eyes of the whole world, got hit with leprosy. Leprosy. And because people try to say that he got his skin bleach. No, the doctors uh, actually uh, found uh, out uh, that he actually uh, had a skin disease. Actually had. The most high hit his he ass was, with leprosy. He was filthy. He was yep, filthy. He was filthy. Yep. He was filthy. He was fast. Well, fucking them little boys uh, and shit. Drinking Quincy Jones's nut. Yep. Yep. Yeah. He was filthy. Yeah. He was fired. Yeah, I think it's uh, around that time, too, in the 80s, when he, when he was starting to see it. Mm -hmm. He started to see his ass getting lighter. Yep. It happened. Most high, the more, the more uh, wicked shit he did behind closed doors, the lighter he got. Came out, yep. Came out in the open. And yep. we read the rest of this. You have now entered into the twilight. <laughs> we read the rest of the scripture right here. You know. That's real. Behold, this is Isaiah 13 and, uh, uh, I'm going to read 16 again. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes, like a lot of these women are gonna see their babies killed before their eyes. That's right. Same with the men. Yeah. The men are gonna be like a lot of these weak men won't even be able to defend their families because they're yeah. faggots. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all yeah. scared. That's right. That's and they right. haven't been, uh, you know, they ain't, they ain't been prepared. They're gonna be faint. They're gonna be right. faint. They're gonna be, you know, no desire to get up and defend Yeah, they ain't gonna defend it. They're yeah. like, oh, yeah. please don't. Yeah. Instead of trying yeah. to, you know. We talking about the Lord here. The Lord yeah. gonna bring some shit on this planet that you ain't going, you can't fucking imagine, man. Look, like, behold, I will stir up the Medes against them. And this will go back to the ancient world, you know, but Perfect. today you got the modern day uh, Medes. Perfect. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right, right. You got all kind of countries coming against America. Because America, America is the modern day Babylon. Like in the ancient world, the Most High destroyed Babylon. You know what I'm saying? So he gonna destroy the new Babylon. That's right, just like yeah. we, we yeah. destroying yeah. Babylon yeah. through the spirit right now, through you know, by uh, destroying Brother Polite and Super Seti oh, and- And we're doing it through the spirit. Yeah, doing it through the spirit, we destroying ain't going, We ain't going out executing people. We, yeah. we actually, we actually we are. We <laughs> ex because the spirit, the spirit, the spiritual execution is worse than the physical. Way worse. Because yeah, the spirit is more powerful than, like we read earlier in Ephesians. Hey, let's read that again before we live and we wrap it on that. If it, we didn't get it finished that. Ephesians? Yeah, all right, you get it real quick? You wrestle them up? Yeah, I'll finish this up, you get that. All right. Cause we, yeah, we only read once, we didn't get it finished. It's a, uh, behold, I will stir the means against them, which shall not regard silver. <laughs> now, you ain't gonna be able to pay these motherfuckers off. Like America has been bribing all these countries. They, they've been, uh, that's what, they'll go over to the, uh, countries like Iraq or whatever, and they'll uh, give a lot of these Muslim extremists, like uh, suitcases full of money or uh, actually, uh, truckloads truck of, of money, yeah. but you ain't gonna be able to buy these Muslims off no more. You ain't gonna be able to pay the Chinese off. And you ain't gonna be able to pay all these governments off no more. You know, okay, that, that America rules the world through bribery. You know what I'm saying? Through, through deceit. Yeah, through deceit. They are paying you off. You know what I'm saying? Just like you ever watch wrestling? Uh, Ted DiBiase, the Million Dollar Man. He always said every man has his price. <laughs> that <laughs> Remember was my that? shit back in the day. <laughs> that was my shit. And Ted DiBiase calling himself a preacher, a man in the Lord now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ted DiBiase. I hated his wrestling, I, I but I loved his him. character. Where he had a slave. What's your boy yeah. Virgil? <laughs> yeah. Hell no. Oh, uh, but you know Virgil was actually. Virgil was actually an inside joke because Virgil is uh, Dusty Rhodes' real name. I remember name. Virgil. Virgil, his slave. Yeah, I remember. But the joke him. was because he was making fun of Dusty Rhodes because right. that's his real name was Virgil. Is it really? Yeah. What? Because oh, it was man. really a joke, an inside joke against Dusty Rhodes. Wow. <laughs> Dusty Rhodes, he had Israelite, he had big fat faggot. Along with your faggot ass son, Gold Dust. He got another son. Oh, he's all faggots. He probably. He, French kissing his own son. Oh God! I, I could just see it. Dusty Rhodes is a nasty oh, fat yeah. fuck, man. Yeah. I seen him talking yeah. on TV. Yeah. He was Dusty Rhodes was on TV talking about he how he stuck his hand in Ric Flair 
Flair's ass. Oh my and, goodness. And he said Ric Flair had a hemorrhoid the size of a softball. Oh. And Dusty Rhodes said, well, I had a get off in there with some Vaseline and I took the him I took the hemorrhoid and shoved it right back up in his ass. <laughs> That's some funny shit, man. Yeah. And I believe it too. If he said he did yeah, it, Rick he Flair did is it. a faggot. If he said he did it, he I, did it. And I heard reports of Rick Flair doing all kind of faggot shit on uh, on the planes when oh, they was flying goodness. around. What's they said he'll pull his dick out on people. Oh god. And start boy. <laughs> and I knew niggas like that too, man, that you just sitting out drinking, kicking it. And they just meet just out of nowhere to pull their dicks out, man. Right, I man. do. I swear, I, I usually know people like that, man. <laughs> <laughs> they used to, I, I actually crazy. knew motherfuckers like that, man. I'm you be with your girls and shit, man. And they actually pull their dicks out, man. Just pull them out, man. What, what you do that for? <laughs> and I knew niggas that sit around talk about each other's dicks. And he wouldn't talk about his dick. He talking about. It's all of his boy's dick. Man, my boy's dick, man. Yeah, have a contest. You yeah. gotta get the biggest my dick. My boy's dick is bigger than my, uh, his dick over here. But he fuck, you know. They do that shit. What the fuck? Damn. That's some foul shit, man. You wanna talk about a perverse spirit on these people. Motherfuckers be having dick contests and shit. What you want out of? You want that Ephesians 6? Ephesians 6 and 11? You, want, start, 11 you want me to start at 11? 11. Yeah. Uh, um, 11 and 11? Ephesians 11 and 11? Yeah, that's good. This is a rap on that, Isaiah. Oh, you just... want it? Feature 6 and 11. Oh, no, 6 and 11. 6 yes. and 11. 6 and 11. Okay. And read that. We can wrap it up on that one. You want this or you want to finish that? No, that's good on that. That's that's good. Okay, good. Ephesians 6 and 11. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Wiles of the devil. That's everything, man. Because tax, when we get taxed, we got all these laws. Like, it just came out there. It was 44,000 new laws were created this year alone. You know what I'm saying? There's millions and millions of laws. Everything in this country is a trap. You got child support. You got the court system. Yeah, you shit got... about to kick in. Yeah, let's kick in. That's right. Yeah. New laws. New laws. It's all, every new second, there's a new goddamn law you got to follow. There's a new tax you got to pay. Yeah. And everybody's good with it because they're a bunch of faggots. Well, that's good, though. Oh, that is good. You're, you're yeah. actually right. That's, that's, really part of, that's really part of that punishment. Yeah. yeah. Uh, all pay, having half your check taken out from the IRS, that's a punishment from the Most High. Yeah. It's Only the good. Most High could create uh, some sick shit like this that we living in. Uh -huh. really, this is all really the Most High's work. That's, right. that's why the scripture said that we is a spiritual battle. And this shit that's kicking in is called austerity measures. Yep. All these austerities, these laws keep about to kick in. That's going to lot these devils and start feeling the pinch. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world. Rulers of darkness, like... Like you got the Illuminati, they communicate with spirits. They they are sacrificing children so they can talk to the demons. Cause you can't, cause you it's hard. They can't <coughs> communicate with them demons unless they sacrifice the children, spill some blood. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So the, they sacrifice the children to these demons, and these demons are uh, talking to them. And because of the Most High is really giving giving the. Uh, the Give them, yeah, he's giving them a Give strong them delusion yeah. through them demons. Demons tell, really, All they doing is telling them what they want to hear. Exactly. That's it. Because uh, there's a scripture that says that... How you talking to bitches? It says the, 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 what, the heart of a king is in the hands of the Most High or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, ultimately, the Most High is in control of everything. That's why it's a spiritual battle. Everything. So we ain't got to go out here and uh, go uh, pick up arms against the government and start a revolution. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to happen. You get fucked up. Right against the rulers of the of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places spiritual wickedness in high places that's like when you uh got hillary clinton doing seances at the white house that's some spiritual wickedness in high places you know what i'm saying what kind of she, she actually doing a seance trying to summon up the spirit and they, they saying she gonna be the well they gonna be she gonna be the next president and so far that's what they hope you know what I'm saying? That's what. Good even though you. she got caught up in all kinds of scandals, I still vote for that bitch. Even though she like she got, uh, but she she was uh, to blame for that Benghazi incident. That that she should be locked up and executed. Even though she should be executed, they'll still elect that bitch as president. Yep. They're all just, they all worthy of death. Wouldn't it be funny? Cause at least bring another nigga out of nowhere to get elected. Oh, yeah, <laughs> That'll right. be some funny shit yeah, that right would there. Be very funny. What? These, these devils already got what? high blood pressure from Obama being in there. Right. <laughs> they, they probably might have to go Republican this time. Yeah. Right. They got to bring yeah, Herbert Cain yeah, yeah. back out. Wouldn't it be yeah. funny as fuck? <laughs> That'd be funny, <laughs> man. <laughs> but even yeah, even Herbert Cain, he don't like Obama. Herbert Cain, man, he amuses me, man. I like listening to him sometimes. All the motherfuckers, all the motherfuckers sleeping together. 
That dude cracks me up, man. He's a big joke. Oh, you are. You got that. That's a wrap on that. Go ahead. Yeah, you can wrap that up. <laughs>